Lord, you know I love your love. Your love's amazing to choose somebody like me. Now I'm gonna follow your lead. If they think I'm crazy, I don't care. I'll say, hey, I can't say enough. How you lay down your life so we could be free. So now I'm gonna follow your lead. Come, come on now, follow his lead. Mm -hmm. Do I love and I worship you? Whatever you say, I will do. You have my heart, show me the truth. Blessed be the name above all other names, Yahushua HaMashiach, who was and is and is to come. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I would like to share with you how I was brought into the light, out of the darkness, of many despairs in my life. My mother and father divorced and remarried when I was incredibly young. I am a sibling of seven. I was a victim of molestation within my family. Growing up confused and lonely had put a devastating mental stronghold over my life as a young child, and that carried into my adulthood. I was not brought up in a strong foundation of love, but I still chose to never stop seeking His face. The more I seek, the more I find, and the more I find, the more I love. I was not the only one affected by what had happened to me at such a young age. And yet, let me just say that this created a barrier between the relationships with my other siblings. I finally built up the courage in my mind to stand up and speak out to what had happened to me. By doing so, this left a huge discord within my whole family. So I ended up moving away and finishing middle and high school with my father. I wasn't taught true meaning of love, so I threw myself into anything that could give me attention and I met this guy. We dated pretty much all of high school and then we married very quickly after graduating in 2009. I thought that this was the life for me to have. I wanted children and he did not. So I was met with anger, bitterness, and still confusion in my life. In 2011, my heart broke as I was experiencing a failed marriage of adultery by the person who I thought would be with me forever. He no longer viewed me as desirable and got rid of me. Around the same year of 2011, my heart was crushed again when I received a call telling me of my mother passing at the age of 45 from cervical cancer when I was 22 years of age. My mother was such a selfless person, a hard worker being a single mom of seven. She loved to sing while doing anything and incredibly good cook. She loved palm trees and lighthouses as that was the theme in her house, the house I grew up in. My siblings and I pulled together to give her a palm tree engraved on her coffin and placed the angels around her grave. She was a person to bring light into whatever room she walked into. The last time I looked into her beautiful brown eyes was to say my goodbyes. I will never forget how she raised me because how you are is what you become. After much needed time to recover from a failed marriage, along with the loss of my mother, I moved into my sister's place and lived there for some time. After getting back on my feet, I was introduced to a guy that my sister's husband had invited over dinner one night. I noticed some good things in him, and so I decided to move on and give that a go, and quickly moved in with him, only to discover his obsessive controlling ways. Then I knew that was not true love, as the Father speaks about. I was so far from the Father's love that I was not living a life of purity and honor. So here I go again, on a journey, heading to the unknown. I was shortly back on my feet and working two jobs, trying to make something of myself. In 2014, I was blessed with a used car given to me by a special lady of the church. That bought me some time until the car was no longer drivable. But then a friend's wife mentioned this guy and where he worked. He worked at a car dealership and worked his magic. And just like that, I had a brand new Jeep. Hallelujah! Those two jobs were paying off. Always count your blessings. 
Never forget those who bless you and keep your affirmations full daily. This guy is now my husband and I truly found whom my soul loves. He has taken me away from the lust of the world and brought me into love as the Father gives. I know now that it was the Father's love that brought us together. 7-7-17 was our married, our wedding day. He gave me a castle wedding, <laughs> one that my mother always shown us as a kid. I was amazed with his love for me. He truly treats me like a queen and shows me the way I should be loved. For some time, we found we just were not satisfied with the church, so after coming out of the church, we sought more of his name, and we found Yahuwah, and we were led to his light. Hallelujah! In my previous marriage of two years, I never conceived a child. I know now that it was meant to be for me to conceive in my present marriage. My daughter is such a wonderful blessing and gift from the Father, a true love. What a beautiful thing it is to be loved with an everlasting love. I want you to know that wherever you go in your walk of life, things might not be there for you in the time that you seek it. But pray, ask, and trust, and then it will be given to you in time. For Yahuwah is perfect, true, and pure. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy 1.7 reads, For Elohim has not given us a spirit of cowardice, but of power and love and of self-control. So seek his face. The more you seek him, the more you will find him. And the more you will find him, the more you will have love. For love conquers all things, and in all things, Yahusha conquers. The more I seek you, Yeah.